Well, it's been a while, but we are back for, well, another Let's Play, I guess. I will never get the hang of this, will I? I'm just gonna, like, that's going to be the bane of my existence. I will never be able to do an intro for the life of me. That's always gonna be the bane of my existence. I can never do an intro to save my life. Oh, man, you can just imagine a gunman actually comes in. Do a good intro! Oh, how did I even think that? What is wrong with me? Uh, whatever, let's just... Let's just kill things, that makes everything better, right? Just kill everything, makes everyone happier. You know? If you're actually, you know, bad advice, do not take it. I don't want to be held accountable when some serial killer goes on a rampage. This YouTuber told me to do it! Wait, please, no. Don't send me to jail. I, I can't be held responsible, please. Oh my gosh, is it with their justice system? That might actually happen. Ah, uh, fudge me. And our justice system. Oh dear. Probably should not be insulting the justice system, which basically could screw, which can and probably will screw you over. Uh, logic. Do I think, do I know where I'm going? Ah, uh, Hector, then no. I have no clue where I'm going. But, you know, I figure whatever. You know? Just go forward, and I'm sure eventually you'll figure or get something right. I mean, how many times can you screw up, right? In fact,. Yeah, let's just go back to the Evan Hawk. I'm, I think I'm getting off this sorry excuse of a planet. <laughs> uh, I should not insult Dantooine, but seriously. As far as actually gameplay goes... Oh dear. Um, do we know Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Chris and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. Ouch, hostility. Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Mission gets a little worked up when it comes to her brother. Don't mind her. Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You... Liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. So he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. It's another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Hmm. Maybe, maybe your brother isn't the man he you thought he was. It's probably true. It is true. I'm just gonna. We going? Spoiler alert: after He's a scumbag. Told me looking after you was holding him back. Chris always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Sounds like you're better off without him, honestly. That's my personal opinion. In my humble uh, opinion. You can't well know it. He's nothing but a sleazy scam artist. If Mission knew it was good for her, she'd forget he ever existed. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. As far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. True enough. Well, Mission, <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Yeah, we should probably speak to hey, poor man. girl. What? You're a dear what brother. Might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At someone least like... free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. Yeah, sure. We'll find her, your your brother, I and then you. Not... Yeah, any kind of trouble. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, what am I saying? I played this game so many times. Uh. This game really is best first time. If you haven't played this game, you really should go play it first. Just I know I know I should uh, YouTubers should recommend you watch all their videos, but seriously. 
it ruins the game for you if you just watch the whole thing first. Because it is a because a good portion of this game is storyline. So I feel I should I feel it my duty to inform you that a very that you should probably play yeah, the game what first. Do you want? It's free on it. It's actually free on the Amazon App Store. So just uh, letting you know. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. Mm -hmm. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. This is why you don't screw with Mandalorians. <laughs> I remember it well. Orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't think... <laughs> then Lord's got Every afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. Yeah, you really the should, but... In front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Now that is... <laughs> That's... that's guts right there. You dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. Now that is epic. I want a battle squad droid. <laughs> Amen. Times, but things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? <laughs> Here's a stamina boot. Is there anything else? Your choice. No, that, I mean, I just want you to think about that for a second. He jumped out of a freaking spaceship into the atmosphere, down the atmosphere of a planet, and literally landed down there on his own. Like, just think about that. Basically, using a basilisk squad right, he fell down through the freaking atmosphere. That would probably get any normal person killed. I'm not sure if they took account physics in this game, but still, you gotta admit, that's, uh, guts. And, uh, yeah. Your guts have gotta have guts. And you probably... Ooh. I wonder. I can't remember. I feel like there's a... thing here. I don't know why. I, want, I really feel like there's... Oh, wait. I think that's a gun turret. Never mind. Don't mind me. Just being a... I'm just retarding out over here. Retarding. Wow. I can't even speak... Is that even a word? Retarding out? Weird, because... What's this? I feel like I can... Never mind. Okay, sorry. I'm thinking of of Coder 2. There's a lot more stuff you can do in that game. Gameplay-wise, Coder 2 is very much superior to Coder 1. Other than that, really, it doesn't matter. Other than that, it's storyline mode. Def I mean, story-wise. Ugh. Like I said, don't... I suck. <laughs> Okay, store of emergency food and supplies. Okay. I'm basically just kind of, you know, pouring the in. Oh my gosh. Words! Why are they. Why are you so difficult? Seriously, it's like I'm speaking <laughs> with all the influence. With all the fluent. Oh my gosh. With all the ability of a 12 year old. Maybe less. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I haven't slept for 24 hours, but you know. Details, details. Alright, what do you know about the planet we're on? wonder if you could help me with a problem. Nothing really good from Zalbar at the moment. Let's see. Okay, Juhani. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. 
Huh? Yeah, nothing, you know, you just kind of went complete evil, tried to murder everyone and me. It was, you know, it's small fries, small fries. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Yeah, I just want to make a note. Imagine if someone said that, and just someone says to you, Yeah, sorry, I just assumed you would try to kill me. Like, I don't know why, I just was thinking about it, of that, about that. It's <laughs> oh, wow, my mind. Alright. I forgive you. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Oh, trust me. I say I forgive you, but in reality, I'm just plotting for the right moment to destroy your soul. Like your ex-girlfriend. Bada bang. Ah, nobody was... And you hear the sound of cringe and silence as people wonder how the heck you have not KYS. <laughs> you just hear the KYS. Uh. Hey there. What can I do? Oh dear, I don't okay. feel like getting scanned by my own party member. Thank you very much. So I don't know why, I just have a feeling I don't want to get scanned by my own party member. You know, I still have yet to do the Just Pazak Fling episode. I don't know why. <sighs> Normally we just crap at games, not that difficult for me. You know, I swear there was a thing that allowed you, like, uh, security? I can't remember if that's a, I think that's the second game feature. Yeah, I think that's a number two feature. I really hope they do a number two, uh, remat, yeah, the remat restore content. Oh dear, that was amazing. Maybe with a bit of an upgrade, so that, you know. It looks like where they do the graphics upgrade to make everything smoother like they did with this. Because in reality, that would be amazing. Let's see, Dantooine, Manon, Tatooine, Dantooine, wait, what? Corbon. Alright, eeny, meeny, Dantooine. Tatooine, sorry. Am I the only one who was really shot, who was wondering what the heck was going on when I watched Star Wars for the first time and thought Dantooine was actually Tatooine? I'm like, oh, they just destroyed Tatooine. It's a good thing. That, and then I realized, wait, hold on a minute. I thought, oh, they're going for Dantooine. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was an idiot as a kid. Oh, please tell me. I just realized you sometimes get attacked randomly as you're traveling in this game. And I just realized how hard it is to... Yeah, the controls in this are terrible for doing the turret. Absolutely terrible. So if I get attacked on this game, I don't know what I'll do. It's just annoying. You know, I have probably wasted so much time. Like, I wonder how long this actual playthrough will take. On average, this game takes about 50 hours, so we're about a fifth of the way through the game. So there's about roughly 2019. So about 60 videos worth from this game. That's nice. Sorry, don't mind me. Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Ka Sonasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Plot armor, the strongest armor in existence. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karp escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive. If Look how can... short he is! Lord Malak, forgive me. Very sorry. Little man syndrome. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time. He's a, he's a little Kalo. man syndrome. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Am I the only one who noticed little man syndrome going on there? I can't be the only one. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in previous videos. But seriously, Callow Nord is freaking tiny. Sorry. 
on to the weird dream sequence. <sighs> Holy cow, they really did do a good job with the sequence. Look at this. I think just the movie sequences are actually pretty well done. Especially considering this is like, what, 2003, 2002? Pretty good games. Uh, better game than one made in 2016. Just shows graphics ain't everything. Although these are some pretty sick graphics, ironically. <laughs> it's kind of ironic that I complain about how graphics aren't everything as I compliment the game's graphics and talk about how much better it is than the other. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, the graphics are not better, but they're still darn good. The Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Well... Looks like it was in some kind of cave. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. It's kind of funny such a desolate um, planet is so iconic in Star Wars history. Like seriously, so much crap happens on that on Tatooine. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's something's not right? Uh, Tom. I don't care if someone ate your midnight snack, Zalbar. Uh, I suppose I should go investigate, because that would generally mean stowaway. I feel like there's a way to open those, that thing. I can't remember. I know I've opened that before, but I can't remember exactly how you do it. There is a way, though. I know there is. Oh, great. Alright, let's begin a game of Ring Around the Rosies. Let's go look around in here. Basically how this mission works. This is a mission. It's true. Not mission. Mission. Alright, so behind me... So I need to corner the girl. I think that's what you're doing. Alright, good. Which means she's probably going into here. Found her! Hey, what are you doing here? Okay, no bad Leah's outfits. Calm down, little girl. I won't hurt you. You, Yubamino, Abids. Ersh. I don't understand you. Um. Can you tell me your name? <laughs> My name is Screw Myself. It's Screw You All. Muchishakaba. Sasha. Sasha. Do you know what I look by the name Lurak Solas? Sasha. Muchishakaba. Just, they just basically got a whole free a thing they just say. <laughs> How'd you get on the ship? Um, try to learn Don't such a state, strange language. Many words you're speaking are Mandalorian. 
Hmm. Mandalori. That's your word for Mandalorian. How to learn a language from a child. Wow. This is just... Wow. But you are a Mandalorian child. I can't understand Mandalorian. Try to learn Thank again. Bristag me lesfa. S1? Me S1. Oh, I see. Are you seeing me? Nah, <laughs> Bristag. Starship. Bristag, Sasha, Nawe, Aswan, in Bristag. Nash Sasha hid in Starship. Starship, my home. Alright, I think I figured out what she said. <laughs> Alright. Sasha hides in Starship, 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 my home. Yep. Alright, there we go. We're progressing. Yuba Ganda Sin. You like it? Okay. You like me? Yay! My Stoian, my ship likes me because that's always important. Make sure that the people who hide on your ship and could potentially murder you in your sleep like you. Oh, yeah, that's actually very good logic. They could potentially murder you in your sleep. You in your sleep. So they, yeah, they should like you. No, Abids. That's what you said when I first found you. Hit. Okay, to hurt. I understand, no, I won't hurt you. Okay. This is actually, man, this is quality content here as I try to figure out language. Yum, what kind of word is that? Um. It's a part of the ship or room. Oh, food. Food is yum. Yeah. Nugis. I find it funny that she can tell when I get it right. <laughs> the girl thinks for a moment, starts this down with several times her finger. Me, Napsi, Nugis. The floor? The floor means. Oh, me, Napsi, Nugis. I mean, she was kidnapped. Kidnapped. Tabid you? What do you mean? <laughs> you want me to tell you a story? Tell me about... What do you want me to... Sasha in her language. <laughs> Alright. I think we finally cracked the code. Okay... Why are you hiding on my ship? You came to the ship before. You were very scared. Why? Mandalorians. You let the Mandalorians and hit here on the ship. You don't want to leave the Ehrenhawk as your home. Alright. You sleep here in the ship. The Ehrenhawk is not your home. Talk about your home before... Dantooine. Someone who... Okay. There we go. Someone at home will take you... Someone will take you home. Alright. Then when we go back to Dantooine... Oh, wow. Well... A uh, very unproductive, lang a very unproductive episode, but I think we're going to be okay. Let's pick out. I think. Well, for now, let's.
take Candorus and our good friend Basila out there. And I think as soon as we are about ready, to, we we're gonna do a little bit going around here, and then we're gonna call that good, right? We're good. Welcome to Anchorheads, potential customer. Zerka Corp. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. Once you fade, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable. Oh yeah, right. Fine, fine, I'll pay. Thought you would. Without this, will cover any future landings as well. Now, as a customs officer. I need to get going. Screw you, mate. Oh, look, we got a level up already. See? What a great way to end the episode. <laughs> After basically watching me fool around with uh, talking to a girl... I'm not going to finish the sentence. I'm just going to upgrade his uh, treat injury and call that good. Let's see. Feet, feet, feet. Let's give him implant. Level 2. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll probably be bringing another one soon. Adios, amigos. And I fudged up.